so a good Matsoi Shabbos to everyone, but everyone's really thinking of a good Arab Sukkos. So as long as we're talking about Sukkos, and some people are going to pick up their little Van Esrog now, certainly if you want to leave it here and have it on Monday, that's tomorrow actually, for her davening, quite welcome too, but those who want to pick it up now is also fine. So I just want to learn one Mishnah, the Mishnayas in Sukkot, ha, in Sukkot has a certain order, and at a certain point after discussing about what is kosher for Lulav, Esrog, Hadassim, and Arabos, it then goes on to talk about Hallel, and then it goes back to some of the laws of Lulav and Esrog. So it says, in the place in which the custom is to double, that is, we know that in Hallel we say some of the sentences twice, and that came about because of in the Beis Hamikdash in the temple, when it was sung by the Levium, certain sentences were doubled, and therefore we have the custom, and it was in various places, very different places in which they began saying a pasuk twice. You should double, and if the custom is livshot to have it only straight. If shot, then you say it straight only one time. Levorech acharov, to make a bracha after Hallel, then you should make it. Hakol kamina kamadina, everything should be according to the custom of the place. Now the bracha before Hallel, everyone agrees that one is supposed to do it. The bracha afterwards, which we do, was customary in some places, others not. This is only, let's talk about Yom Tov, not about Rosh Chodesh, or the end of Pesach, that's a different halacha. Now, halokeach lulav mechavero b'shviyis. If somebody buys a lulav from his friend in the shemitah year, which would really mean also after the shemitah year, no sein lo esrog b'matana. You give him the esrog as a gift. L'fi she'ein rashoi l'lokcho b'shviyis, because it's not permitted to buy an esrog during the shemitah year because the fruit of the land of Israel during the Shemitah, during the sabbatical year, is supposed to be available to everyone to come and take. So therefore, you get a free Esro this year. Not really. If you would be in Israel, as my daughters did go to a place where it was open and they could go and pick there, so one daughter found something, the other daughter said it must have been picked clean already when they came. There is another way in which one is able to do this, and that is called Otsar Bezdin. That is, the court appoints people to be on the field to protect it, not necessarily to work it, but to protect it, and they are able to be paid for their watching of the field, etc. And then it is given in compensation to the Bezdin, to the court, for their work mm -hmm. in this, and then they can give it to the farmers to be able to use for the next year, etc., etc. So when you take a look, and I only saw it this past week, because we only got them now, on the box of the Esrogim, it says $15 on it. <laughs> now that $15 is what is for the Otsar Bezdin. That is, that goes to the Bezdin, and the rest of the price includes somebody who received it and somebody else who received it and the lulu and the hadasim and the aravos which comes up to the very low price which everyone paid for the total of it and it's available now if you would like so everyone a very very good yom tov and we'll speak over yom tov also of the way in which we shake it the reasons why we do the various shakings